here I want to uh, discharge a capacitor. In this case, we use the same RC circuit. <clears throat> we have a resistance and a capacitor, but here uh, we have to switch to B, okay? We don't need to use the battery because I need to discharge the capacitor. We can put the switch to B. So in this case, we have only this side of the circuit. Now we can do the calculation. We have to calculate uh, Q in terms of time. And we can calculate I in terms of time. And also we can calculate V in terms of time. You know, uh, uh, we can use a, a clockwise loop. Here we have uh, a point A and here we have a point B and here we have a point A because between this point and this point we have nothing connected. Okay? So we use loop rule summation of voltage equals to zero. So delta V between AB plus delta V B A A B B A equals to zero. Okay. Uh, you know, here, uh, initially, initially, before we have the positive charge was here, and here we have the negative charge. So here we have the positive side, and here we have the negative side. In this case, in this case, uh, uh, the current must be in this direction i uh, it will be from the positive side here we have the current i from the positive side to the negative side delta v a b equals to v b minus v a plus v a minus v b equals to zero. We start between B and A. Here we have VB minus VA. So I talk about the capacitor, VB minus VA, okay? VB is at the positive side. So here we have plus. The voltage as the capacitor equals to uh, Q divided by the capacitance. Okay, VA minus VB of the resistance. VA is at the negative side, so we have minus equals to minus uh, v, uh, we can say equals to minus i times r equals to zero, okay? Uh, you know, in general, i equals to dq divided by dt in the case of charging, where q is increasing with the time. But in the case of discharging, the charge will decrease with the time. So we have to say I equals to minus dq divided by dt because the charge will decrease with the time. So we must have a negative in the case of discharging. Okay, so 
we must substitute here q divided by c minus i equals to minus dq divided by dt we get plus dq divided by dt times r equals to zero okay like before i have to put dq together uh, here we get dq divided by dt r equals to minus q divided by c we can divide by r and here we divide by r so uh, here uh, we get dq uh, divided by q equals to minus dt divided by r c okay here we have the result dq divided by q equals okay what is the condition here you know at initial time at t equals to zero we have q equals to q initial and you know maybe at time equals to infinity the capacitor must be discharged so q must be equals to zero okay here i need to calculate q we have dq divided by q equals to minus dt divided by r c i will start from the initial value of q q0 to the final value at a time t it's not at the infinity no it's between zero and a time t okay in this case uh, you know here the integral of uh, dx divided by x equals to ln x so here we get ln q between q zero and q equals to r c is constant we get minus one divided by r c the integral of dt equals to t so uh, here we get ln q minus ln q zero equals to minus t divided by r c here we get ln q divided by q zero equals to minus t divided by r c uh, in this case q divided by q zero equal to the exponential of minus t divided by r c okay so we can write here q divided by q zero equals to exponential minus t divided by r c in this case q in terms of time equals to q zero exponential minus t r c okay this is the value of q t to calculate i uh, equals to dq divided by dt we can calculate the derivative of q t which is equal to q zero times minus one divided by r c exponential 
minus t divided by r c. This is a value of i t. At initial time t zero, if we put here t equal to zero, exponential zero equals to one, so q zero equals to uh, q at t equal to zero equals to q zero. And what about i at t equal to zero? We have exponential zero equals to one. So i at t zero equals to minus q zero divided by r c. At t equals to infinity. At infinity, here we have uh, zero. So q at t infinity equals to zero. And here also at infinity, we have zero and i at infinity equals to zero. This is the condition.